Hello, David Kaiser here, Pipe Organs of South Carolina, Organ Hunters. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel um, so you can be up to date to uh, new videos. I'm excited to be at Trinity United Methodist Church, now part of uh, Buncombe Street United Methodist Church, with uh, esteemed composer and organist Robert Powell, who you will see in a second. So please enjoy this video. Thanks. All right, so you can keep it. My name is Robert Powell. Uh, I was organist in many places before I came to uh, Trinity here in uh, Greenville, South Carolina. I was at one time assistant organist at St. John the Divine in New York City. I followed that with St. Paul's Episcopal Church in Meridian, Mississippi, which is my home state, and that with St. Paul's School in Concord, New Hampshire, and finally at Christ Church for 34 years in Greenville, South Carolina. My friends tell me I had to go through two saints before I could come to Christ. Uh, I enjoy writing music. That's one of the, the fun things I did. I, I have, have done all my life. I started by improvising on the piano, and I write most of my music at the piano or at the organ. Uh, it's kind of fun to do this in so many combinations. It's like doing a giant crossword puzzle. You can fit something and it fits here and it doesn't fit there and it goes on and on that kind of way But that's one of the things I enjoy doing the, the organ here is a, is a wonderful organ to play on It's a, it's a three manual shots It has the usual strings which are very good. I'm going to demonstrate that, that in a few minutes It also has good reeds uh, and beautiful flute on the choir and then the usual uh, uh, black patients and all that it's, it's, a, it's in a good place in the congregation. You can see both the choir and the congregation. I have a story to tell about what I've done in my life and what I've tried to do in my life. There was this organist whose name was Miss Elsie. Now, Miss Elsie played in her church for 60 years. She only used the, you know, the left foot and the, and the crescendo pedal to get louder and softer. But anyway, she died, and on her tombstone, they said, it was written, here lies Miss Elsie. She was the organist of this church for 60 years. She did what she could. And so that's what I'm trying to do. I do what I can. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, I'm here now at Trinity United Methodist Church. It's, uh, it's, uh, the organ here is, th is a three manual Chance instruments. And it it's going to be easy for me, as you can see, to pull out stops and to, then it is for me to talk. We have strings. Everybody has strings on organs. It seems like this is... We have flutes, three different kinds of flutes, three different sounds of flutes, three flutes that sound somewhat alike, but not really. The raw flute on this swell is the borden on the borden on the gray is and the hoops gadet on the choir is and then we have the uh patience or principles in this case. Eight foot and four. Two foot and the four foot mixture. The reeds are on oboe on the swell. On 
the great trumpet. The pedal, the pedal reads are Of course, we have the usual Bordens and uh, uh, flute sounding stops in the pedal as well. And that's about it. Now, all together, uh, I will try to play a little piece uh, that will start soft, get loud, and end soft again. Thank you. I have a question, though. When you're composing pieces, do you go from the improvisation to the, the sheet music? I do that. I go to improvisation from, to the sheet music, and I enjoy both putting it, doing the 
writing the pieces and putting put them on the computer as well, my music program, and, and that's kind of fun. And I uh, have, uh, uh, the, the hardest thing about writing pieces, in my opinion, and I think John Rutter said this once also, is that if you get the inspiration uh, first, then the rest of it kind of falls into place. Uh, you heard the uh, singer Mary Pure and Holy that I was yeah. messing with, and uh, it, was, uh, it was fun to do that kind of thing. It's great fun to see what you can do with it. There's so many combinations. Now, when I was young, I didn't care. I slapped something down and sent it off, and thank goodness the publisher <laughs> published it. But now I've gotten old and have it's. Uh, I have to uh, self-critical, which I never was before. That's but I enjoy writing pieces. That's what I do. It's great fun, and I, f I feel that's part of my. It's part of my ministry, at, at least. And so that's why I'm here and why I do this stuff. That's it. Nice. you want something else uh, if you if you want to no no sure. i'm fine great. okay great i only enjoy listening to the organ i never hear it i never hear the organ I throw out there. exactly yeah well I, I think i may try a little improvisation too but make it long enough to make it worthwhile so i can i, I don't know though what? we'll see i don't know what tune i should use
go to bed. And it was very nice. We had nice ducks and nice tunes and everything. Yeah, it's a really nice market. It is a lot. It's, it's not just many places. It's, 